Hello avid royal watchers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Kate Middleton reportedly made a shocking and abhorrent move to please the royal family. The Duchess of Cambridge is one of the key figures on the firm. Prince William and Middleton are among the few royals who remain very visible amid the coronavirus pandemic. Royal experts and followers have witnessed Middleton's improvement nine years after joining the royal family. However, according to previous reports, the Duchess had a hard time pleasing the royals. So at one point, she made an unexpected move to be one of them. The royal family is fond of hunting, and in 2007, she joined them to go deer stalking. However, the move irked the anti-blood campaigners. It is shocking and apparent that she is engaging in blood sports, the spokesman for the campaign group People of Ethical Treatment of Animals, Peter, said. Kate is obviously trying to endear herself to the royal family, and her decision will do her no favours whatsoever. It wasn't the only time Middleton was criticised for supporting the royal family's inclination for hunting. In 2018, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge received intense backlash from the netizens for taking Prince George to grouse hunting. Several Twitter users found it horrible and disgusting. Some were concerned that Prince George would grow up without empathy for animals. In 2018, Middleton also sparked another round of controversy when she was photographed wearing a beanie with fur during her royal tour to Scandinavia with Prince William. Middleton has several fashion followers and they were disappointed when they tracked the item and found out it was a rain wool hand knit beanie and charcoal. The item is typically made with real fox fur. This is a scandal. How can she wear that? They are killed, murdered for their fur, one wrote. Some really fun William and Kate photos came out of Sweden this morning, but disappointing if that's real bubble, bubble hat, Victoria Arbiter said. Kensington Palace came at Middleton's defence and insisted that it was made with faux fur. Eugenia Kim updated the description of an item on the site to reflect the royal endorsement. She added that the hat can be made to order with a faux fur pom, Glamour reported. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.